everybody and welcome to the uh, Speakers Forum. Uh, we're here at least some Sundays with the permission of the Melbourne City Council and the uh, State Library. You know, we need to use our first speaker who is here to our room. And it's Brett. I'm here and just wanted to share some ideas with you about uh, the last few years that I've spent learning anything. That's, that's the concept that I have, that's the concept that I've developed and that everyone uh, has problems and things that they are going through, everyone has experiences they want to have and I believe that the issue that they've got is they don't know how to learn to become that person, that thing they want to become. So there's that learning is what bridges the gap between having the experiences we want to have and overcoming the problems that we've got currently. So, a little bit about me, just taking it back uh, five years. I was working as a stunt performer, and being a stunt performer, we had to be very versatile in what we do to, to keep working. So I was learning all sorts of stuff like scuba diving, martial arts, uh, learning how to be set on fire safely, fireworks, yeah, yeah. martial arts, and um, something I mentioned, uh, firearms and things like that, driving trucks and buses, all sorts of cool stuff. Awesome. Because unfortunately, the Australian film industry is too small to just learn one skill and get them employed full time, so we have to be very versatile. So, I learned some 30 qualifications uh, in a very short space of time to get all these different skills up and I realised that uh, there's a certain coolness to that that I should be sharing with the world and because most of us go through life only learning one or two skills yeah. as the main career of our, of our what we're focusing on in life. Yeah. So it's very important to keep learning and, and that sort of thing, be versatile, not just have one skill and invest in just that one thing and we are a master of our own destinies if we can learn anything. So, Four things that I uh, came up with. I did a lot of writing this time last year, which is uh, just getting printed in a book. Uh, my book's coming out, getting published right now. It's coming out in the middle of July. Cool. So, The Stuntman's Guide to Learning Anything. Yeah. So, you can cool. uh, well put links and stuff at the end, which I'll, I'll give you. Um, and the four things that uh, I found kept showing up in all these skills that I learned was inspiration, information, people, and practice. And when you incorporate all the tools that I've got in amongst those, then you really have no opportunity, uh, sorry, you have every opportunity to succeed and no, and no chance of failure. Yeah. Bring all the uh, environmental yeah. elements together, bring the picture together. So the first thing is inspiration. You need to know why you are doing it, what you want to do it for. Is it an external motivation, such as going to university because my parents have told me to? Or is it because I want to have a proper career um, and, and, and I want to give something of myself to the world? This is who I, who I believe I am. So, uh, as far as learning things, if you are always more in line with learning stuff that is more inspirational to you and more intrinsic to you. The word inspiration comes from the spirit, obviously, so it's very important to uh, have it as an internal kind of thing, internal motivation. Also, understanding your attention when you want to become a um, uh, the world class at something, a gold medalist or whatever, or if you just want to. Yeah, play, that's a good point. Play a certain skill to yeah. hang out with friends and experience something. Yeah. So, um, those are different elements you need to think of, and, and that's a point of measurement that you can use to reference the learnings that then you accumulate from then on. And this, this all comes together and forms and the, uh, helps you shape all the tools that you're going to be learning with. The next one is uh, information, obviously, information and the information you take on and mentally uh, fill up your mind with. Um, you need to know how to interpret that, and that's sort of thing quite often in schools, but there's only one authority, and that's what the teacher says. And you can only learn off the teacher, but if you learn off any of your kids who are cheating, which I always found was fascinating, even though they might be learning the same thing from the teacher, if we learn it from other kids who are cheating, you know, why is that? Can't we learn from other authorities? Can't we accumulate a very broad spectrum of information? Or do we just have to learn from one curriculum? And I found it best when I always had at least two mentors to learn from, and they're always very different mentors. I take the one question and share it to each each mentor and uh, learn from each of them. And the answer is very different. I take a much broader understanding of the people I was learning from. Do you have a question? Uh, just when, when I speak about learning anything, I'm talking about self education. So the idea that I'm treating this world as a subjective world, I'm doing it from my own experiences and to become more of who I am, as opposed to what's right, because uh, I operate from. Again, talking, coming back to what you said about learning anything for solving problems or having experiences. When we do it for the same reasons, we're always doing it for ourselves. So I'm talking about learning not to find out what's right, but what's right for us. And the self-education method that I've come up with is all about having people learn for themselves and for their own reasons. So interesting uh, interesting conversation that we had about um, how we take on the correct information and critical thinking, breaking it all down to the correct 
correct thing and pulling it all back to, to correctness, so to speak. But as far as I'm concerned, it's all about just learning for our, for our own reasons. So. Are you talking about practical learning or intellectual learning? A any learning, any, any learning, learning. self-improvement sort of so pathway. Self-improvement, learning a hobby or learning a job or anything like that. So when we... Uh, yeah, Sorry, what's that? Your emphasis seems to be on practical things. Yes, it? yeah. Yep. So, so skills and, and whatever. Uh, you want to learn to further your career, further your life, further your job, further your hobbies, experiences, relationships, things like that. So... You actually can't learn those things in the abstract. Sorry? You actually can't learn those things in the abstract. You no, no. Do that. You, you learn them by experience, yeah. And we first uh, take on these things by... Uh, just having other experiences with other people and absorbing from other people, you know, what's your opinion on public speaking, what's your opinion on public speaking, taking all these things, no one's right, but everyone's got what works for them. So, uh, one of the systems I have for exploring information is you've got to understand the content, and the concept and the context. Uh, when you negate the context, you don't have a very personalised experience of it, what you have is you're taking other content and other concepts from other people. You don't have a very good understanding of how it relates to other people's context or your own context. So it's very important to be able to relate the context to yourself and other people. Obviously, comparing concepts and application um, to make these this content happen and, and approach it. it. It's good to have a head full of knowledge, which I've had for a long time, a lot of things. But now it's, it's time to apply it. You've got to know when you when you need to apply it. And obviously, yeah. the content is all about taking the learning further, developing a deeper understanding. Of um, and the third, the third uh, step in the four steps that you've got to have, the, four, the, the, third pal the third pillar in the four pillars, is people. It's who you surround yourself with, what mentors have you got, what caliber are they, all that sort of stuff. There's a, uh, there's a quadrant system that I developed. I was trying to work out what are all the mentors that I've had, all the coaches, all the teachers, all the best friends that have shared things with me. Who are they? And, what is the common elements? You know, is it that I paid for it or not paid for it? You know, how do I define all this? And I was sort of work. You're trying to find out what's best as yeah, a learning yeah. path. Well, let's boil it all down and see what's what's there. You know? Yep. And I came up with the fact that I, I realised that you either get from a mentor or a coach or a teacher, whoever, you either get encouragement or you get ideas. And that encouragement and ideas or ideas is given to you based on questions or statements. So I, I developed this quadrant kind of system, which is if I'm a public speaker and I'm up here, I'm telling you ideas, I'm making statements, I'm sharing ideas. So I'm, I'm a guru, mentor, there's only it's really only one way street. The opposite of that, I wish I had a whiteboard to show you, but um, if you had the guru, mentor down here, it'd be all statements and, and ideas, and up here would be encouragement and questions. So the mother mentor is all about asking you questions. How do you think you went? Did you do a good job? Do you think, you know, it's all about inspiring you and asking lots of questions and getting you to engage in the process, being very encouraging. Oh, yeah. yep. And uh, quite often we get a head full of content from listening to too, too many guru mentors and we don't get inspired or encouraged from someone like a mother mentor. So if you find you're not actioning stuff, it's great to get a mother mentor or something like that who's very more loving and let's go, let's make it happen. It doesn't matter, let's just do it. Uh, the other, so on the top right hand corner, you've got the wise man mentor. He's the kind of guy that says, he's, he, he knows the journey himself, but he asks you, and he asks a certain questions that guides you along the journey as well. So he might, he might have uh, come up with a problem and he might say, well, tell me about that problem, why is that such a big problem for you? And he'll get you to convince him that it's a problem, you know, and he'll get you to talk about the problem and then work through the problem with you. Yep, so yep. develop it by asking the right questions. So he's sharing ideas with you, but by, by asking questions. So that's in the top right, the bottom left hand corner of got a the sports coach mentor. He's the kind of guy that just makes statements and encourages you. So let's get in there, let's make it happen. Don't worry about it, it just pushes you along and, and gets you gets you in amongst it straight away. Oh, so more emo emotional and not so much a, a content but more emotional sort of uh, so content, encouragement. Let's just get in there, it doesn't matter if whatever happens happens, let's, let's just make it happen and experience it along the way. Um, and the, the reason why this quadrant system has helped me is because quite often I've got too much content and not enough encouragement. And too much encouragement it's all fluffy, but it's not enough. Well, I have the opposite enough. problem. Sorry to interrupt you. Yeah, go for it. I have so much um, negative, in, in other words, not encouragement, but discouragement from people I have had, like people who are supposed to be Christians. Even coming here, they have one after another negative points about, you know, oh, well, 
just and, and not giving me any support at all. That's right. I couldn't pick up. My advice to you is uh, stop hanging around uh, well, an right. anti mentors and start hanging around people who are going who are in places. Oh, that's right, yeah. I know, but they're not always that easy to no, come that's by. Right. Like Red said, you've got to let them maybe let those people go oh, or let I those. Did. Yeah. That's it, yeah. I never you, back. you become like the people you hang around, obviously, so the yes, people you hang around good people. people. They're toxic, exactly. they're toxic friends. Yep, yep, that's right. So, and that, that for me was uh, a big wake up call. It's all about community, it's all about having good people who are doing the stuff. As they say, if you're hanging around with the uh, people who are not as smart as you, then you're going to get drawn back to That's their level. That's right, so you're, down you're to the, their level. There's going to be the smartest, the smarter people in the room than you. Yeah. By the, I have got a friend who's a um, PhD so expert. Yeah, coming back to the intention, the, the, the very first point, it's a good point you've raised actually, by the way. The first pillar is obviously intention and inspiration. So you need to know what you're doing. Yes. And the more you can define that, then yes. we can say, well, she's a good mentor and this guy over here isn't yes. quite as good yeah, because yeah. she's more where I'm going. That's why I want to hang around with you. That's for right. Yeah. yeah, I've sort of worked that out, but it's good to, I've never actually heard someone put it into the, the points that you heard. Mm. It's free. And intentions are very, very important. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Um, and I do have another, quite a bit of other content to share with you yeah. on, on these points, but unfortunately I'll be minute talk. I'm developing a one-day workshop on this stuff, so yeah. just uh, fleshing it out. But uh, that's the that's the best thing that I've got for you guys in that's space and time. Cool. Yeah. If you if you've got a head full of content, not enough application, just then say you need to. Hang on. Let me let me talk. If you've got a head full of content, it's very important to get the encouragement into the application process and actually make things happen. Very good um, talk. This guy's just given. How are you? How are you doing? Um, so the fourth, the fourth point is obviously practice and implementation. So you've got a head full of content now from hanging around with guru speakers and wise man mentors and that sort of thing. And you need to hang around with people who can then encourage, encourage you in the implementation process. And it's all about not so much practice. We say you know, practice makes perfect and that sort of thing. But to me it's all about exposure because you don't just want to practice the good stuff. You want to understand why the bad stuff doesn't work for you as well. Yeah. So you need, the, you need to experience some of the negative stuff in a safe way, and you also need to experience the good stuff as well. And uh, not practice the bad stuff, but experience the bad stuff, expose yourself to it, and again, find out what works, why it works, and work out why it's relevant to you and make that happen instead. So, because again, we can just use, learn by rote learning, and experience all these things, and just do it because I say it's correct. But unfortunately, that doesn't give us a personalised experience of it, and uh, it doesn't take us to the level that we want to go to. So you do realise, of course, that in today's um, many of today's workplaces, <laughs> you know how many, but in many of today's workplaces, <laughs> people are just thrown into a job and told to learn it. Yes, that's no right. real mentoring. There's, there's no, there's no mentoring. Yeah. It's just here, working out yourself kind of thing, as opposed to a uh, okay, let's. Let's actually facilitate this growth and let's make things happen. And uh, quite often I find the best kind of teacher is not somebody who throws stuff at you, but who stands beside you and over your shoulder and goes, okay, what do you see? Let's, let's work this out yeah, together. Yeah. Um, so principles when you're practicing one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. Uh, coming back to your point before, Rosalie, about feedback and that sort of thing and about having negative feedback. Negative feedback is great because it shows you what you can improve on, but too much negative feedback and you feel uninspired. After each practice session or session that I've done to implement something, I give myself two pieces of information. That is, the one thing that I did the best that I'm most, that I'm most proud of, and, and the one thing that obviously that I need to improve the most. And that's based on uh, Pareto's Law, which you may have heard of. Uh, and Pareto's Law is the idea that 20% uh, of our friends give us 80% of the fun, and 80% of our friends uh, on the opposite end of the spectrum kind of thing. And, that, and Pareto's Law applies to Sales, business, customers, uh, experiences in the world, all sorts of stuff. So, out of all the things that I did in that last practice session, what's the one thing that if I change will give me the most improvement the next thing? I just give myself one bit of feedback to work on, and that's all I need to do, because it's just each day is a new step, just taking a step uh, every day to improve towards my, towards my intention. So, but obviously, you need to have one good thing and one bad thing, I think, because if you spend yeah, your time yeah, looking yeah, for the bad yeah, stuff, yeah. that's all you see. Yeah. So you need to validate your growth and your success yeah. every day as well, and yeah. the journey you're going on. So it's very important to always have that one thing to validate that as well. Um, so that's, that's the main four pillars anyway. I'd love to share more with you, but obviously a short forum and that sort of thing. So that's great, yeah. I've got a lot more content and I've got a book coming out in the middle of July. So uh, I'd love to, yeah, if you want to check out my, my website, you can sign up the mailing list there. It's just a splash page at this stage. So, website.
website is learnanythingthebook.com and you can check that out. You can sign up to the, to the mailing list there. You get more information when the book comes out. And hope to see you at a workshop and love to share more about learning with you. Thanks very much.